Oh, blessed be the name of the Lord. I'm so glad to be here today, people. Oh, boy, I tell you, we had a tower go down. And so I think the last video I did, I was on the slow, uh, the slow backups. <laughs> so I'm glad we got our original back. Uh, so I hope this video will be a success here today. So uh, thank you. I hope you guys enjoy your Monday. It's a Tuesday, Monday. Is it? Tuesday, yeah, Tuesday, okay. Uh, because I've been so busy. Uh Today, I have to get this video out. Uh, because there's so many watchmen out there got words from the Father that I think you need to hear about. We're going to be playing uh, messages coming from Carrie Geddon and uh, Edward again and uh, some other people here. I can't even write them on my paper, so I probably don't remember who it is. But anyway, I'm going to be flashing. Uh, Lewis from Florida have a message. Uh, we're going to be covering uh, some messages coming from Second Chronicles today in the 16th chapter. Uh, it's a lot going on, people, with the you-know-what, a lot of people dying I think I was looking at a report here the other day. 27 people died in uh, Tennessee from the jab, okay? And so we have a lot going on with that. Um, and so I'm going to be having a lot of Watchmen reports come out and talk about some things going on in their mind. I know a lot of people think we're about to go through persecution like never before uh, in this country. So we just have to keep praying. And so uh, keep praying and watching. And I'm going to be playing a song that reminds me of that, uh, Don't Let Me Fall Away. I love this song by Zima Lavav. Oh, my goodness, such a wonderful song. It just, I mean, song, it just gets me out of my, you know, negative state every time I play it. So I love it so much, I'm going to play it. And I've seen another recording they did live, and so I will put it in the description box for you guys to play it. I was playing it a while ago. It's a wonderful live performance they did, but I'm not going to play the live performance. I'm going to play the song uh, because the live performance is a little off. Somebody was recording it, so it's not that great of a recording, but it's really wonderful, wonderful song. I just like the song, period. So we're going to play that song, and then in the end of this video, I'm going to get into... Uh, Satan and the Threefold Union. Satan and the Threefold Union coming from Maranatha. Uh, and so we go ahead and go ahead and do that now. And so I just want to say that I really want to, uh, I'm going to be showing a, a, a PDF from uh, Randall J. Brewer. He got a new book uh, that you can probably just put it in your PDF file. So I'll be going over that uh, here quickly uh, in a minute here or so. I think I'm going to go over it before I get into... Um, my other stuff here so let me go ahead and uh, go through my fair use notice and then we'll get into the song uh, I tell you people just so much going on we just gotta keep prayer before us at all times uh, continue praying for us as we prepare for um, my husband's mother passed away so just please keep him in prayer and keep us in prayer so I know a lot of the missionaries already know about it. So I thought I would just let you guys know if some of you didn't get private emails from me. But we really appreciate the prayers at this time, okay? So I'm going to go ahead and play this song right now um, from Zima Laval that I told you about. This is the one here. I think it's right here. This is the one they did the live performance. <laughs> really, really nice, you know, but I, I can't play both, so I will put this in the description box so you guys can play it, because it's really pretty cool the way they have it, but it's kind of loud, but let me go ahead and uh, get into this song, and then we'll get into the uh, news uh, and things of that nature, and so let me go ahead and do it right now, mute it out, I have, okay, yeah, mute it out, hold on a minute, uh, mute this out. from this hopelessness God my father help me fill this emptiness I ran away from what I knew was true I need to hear your voice and be close to you don't let me fall away just like the grass withers away and like the flowers 
Save me from this hopelessness God my father Help me fill this emptiness I ran away from what I knew was true I need to hear your voice And be close to you Don't let me fall away Just like the grass withers away And like the flower Father, save me from my enemies. God, my Father, tents of wickedness surround me. Open up my lips so I can speak. Help me to stand for I am weak. Don't let me fall away. Just like the grass withers away. And like the
Hallelujah, hallelujah. I just couldn't help myself. I had to play part of it, people. You can go listen to the rest of it. But these songs lift you up in the days of gloom and doom, okay? You just need to keep on going. Keep on going. Keep on trusting. Keep on loving the Father. Keep on reading the Word every day, every day, people. Every night, every night, okay? So I'm going to go on into the news now, people. What a wonderful, wonderful song, a team of people that is. Zima Lavov. If you haven't gotten the album, the CD, man, I have two or three of them. I've been giving them out. So I just love this album so much. So let me go ahead and get into the news. Uh, let me go ahead and mute this back. Uh, let me see, make sure I don't mute myself off here. Uh, yeah, let me get on back into the news. Hold Today is July 26, 2021, and welcome to the Grand Supreme News Channel. Before I start, guys, give this video a big thumbs up and share this video. We got some breaking news updates, and check this out. It says here, evacuation underway as California's largest world event spreads. Now, once again, guys, I'm using cold word here, but uh, we are seeing a huge, huge event taking place and there is an evacuation right now. Uh, let me see if there's any pictures in this one. Oh, here we go. Okay, so this is the area right here that they are telling people you must leave this area. And this is, uh, this is where one of the volcanoes are located. You have multiple volcanoes in that area. So it says here, as the smoke clears, the sun warms the ground. We're going to see those air masses start moving very quickly. So basically, guys, uh, due to all this heat wave and mega drought, I mean, dry, 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 dryness is basically not a good thing because now the sun is increasing and relighting or reigniting uh, all these uh, wild F. Now, I'm using cold word here, guys. I'm using cold words. Now, I truly apologize if the coloring looks so bad, guys. I'm trying to fix it. It's just a headache. The camera, the ring lights. It's just, you know, it, it, it's, again, it's going to take time. I know, yeah, look, I know I look like Bart Simpson or something like that. I mean, the color is like, it's like I'm too tan or something. I'm trying to fix that, guys. But anyways, we're going to get to this news. Now, before I start, give this video a big thumbs up. Share this video with This is Dabu7, a big time heads up for folks out there looking to buy a gaming system, because if you live in one of a handful of states here in this country, you cannot receive them. This is ridiculous. This is where this country is at at this point in time. Approximately 59 million Americans spanning five states can no longer buy Dell's high end alien brand desktop PCs due to to power consumption regulations. You heard that right. And these cannot be shipped the way that they are normal to California, Colorado, Hawaii, Oregon, Vermont, or Washington. Anyone in those states is not allowed to purchase this. You talk about totalitarian. You have no freedom of choice to do anything at this point. Now, California, they went around it and they made a dumbed down version of it that takes way less power and they're offering that to the people. This is the situation that we are in, folks. Okay? We have all kinds of ways to create energy. Desalination and all that stuff could be happening on this planet, cleaning the water, turning it into pure water. But none of this stuff happens when these people are in control. This is just more chaos more madness in showing you that you're no longer free to do what you wish in this country. You can't even buy a computer from a certain state without running into this politicized crap. And that's exactly what it all is. 
So at this point, just a heads up for folks that are in any of these states, if you thought that you were going to buy one of these big-time gaming computers, you're not allowed to. How you like that? Hmm. Something I'd be taking up with my local officials if I was you. I'm going to expand on this in the next live stream, going live Monday, Wednesday, and Friday, 9 p.m. Eastern. You'll find links below in the description box. The solar system starting with Saturn in the right corner. It appears larger than Jupiter there in the bottom, but that's only because of the proximity of the artist as he's looking toward the inner solar system. Notice some of the moons there to the right of Jupiter. And that has everything to do with part three of this series. And it's not the last part. But uh, what you see from Jupiter inward is the asteroid belt. Then you see Mars, the Earth, uh, Mercury, Venus. And you see the moon around our planet. Again, Earth there and the sun in the center. Now, you've got the moons rotating around Jupiter. And you're going to have to crunch the numbers. That's going to be in part four. But I'm going to give you some good ideas here. Now, in this graph, you can, you can see it's exaggerated as far as the size of the planets. But again, Jupiter with its planets, asteroid belt, Mars, Earth and the moon, Venus and Mercury and the sun. Now, what would it take for Jupiter to move closer to the Earth? And it actually does by about 300 million miles at its closest point in its rotation. But check out this graphic. To the left, the orange line is the size of the sun. These are actual uh, scale. Then Mercury, Venus, Earth, and the moon, Mars, asteroids. Then the four mo moons of Jupiter where it says Jupiter, but the large uh, brown circle, guys, is Jupiter. Then Saturn, uh, Uranus, Neptune, and then the uh, moons of each one. And notice how even uh, Uranus and Neptune are much, so much larger than the Earth. Here's scale of Jupiter and the Earth. It would take 1,300 of our planets to fit inside of it, but it's just on the other side of the asteroid belt from Mars, and it's the largest object in the solar system other than the Sun. Now, notice your timestamp, uh, which is yesterday as I was starting to put some of this together, October the 11th, and this is the actual location of the planets at that time. The Earth uh, series... Mars is on one side of the planet. Now, Ceres represents uh, one of the largest objects in the asteroid belt, and it represents the orbital path of the asteroid belt, except you're dealing with millions of objects. That's almost a million miles, excuse me, 99 million miles wide, one AU. Now, here's a couple of dates. October 26, 2017, Ju Jupiter will be at the solar conjunction. 2.14, May nights, Jupiter opposition, Jupiter solar conjunction. Those are the dates that give you as far as the important dates. But I want to look at some of the other dates here. Again, October 11th, yesterday, timestamp. And on the solar system scope model, you can just grab any planet, start rotating it. Notice your time stamp at the bottom. Earth and uh, Venus is just slide, lined up. Venus and Mercury are lined up right here. So I back this up, let's come back forward. Notice Jupiter, the Earth, Venus, and Mercury are within the magnetic field, of the width of Jupiter, because it has a magnetic field 18,000 times larger than the Earth's magnetic field. Now, check this out. April 10th, next year. So you've got April is the fourth month. We're into the 10th month, so we're about six months exactly and we've got an alignment between Jupiter, the Earth, Venus, and Mercury. To me, this is much more important than the conjunction date. And everything has to do with the magnetic fields, guys. And this is going to get deeper as we go into the couple more parts. They're almost ready, just finishing touches. But Jupiter's magnetic field goes out about 4.3 million miles. That's in front of Jupiter. If we come around, notice Mars is going to line up on February, March the 2nd, excuse me, March 2nd, 2018. Now, Mars is closer as far as any uh, effect as, uh, as far as the asteroid field because the asteroid field lies between Jupiter and Mars. But about 4.3 million miles out in front of Jupiter is 
the outer extent of its magnetic field. But guys, the blowback, just like the Earth has a magnetic field, and then it has the bow shock, and then you have the magnetic uh, magneto tail that extends for millions of miles behind it on the opposite side of the sun as it faces the solar stream. Well, Jupiter's solar stream goes back to the orbit of Saturn about 4.3 AU. Now, that's 4.3 times the distance of the Earth to the sun. That's further than the closest approach of, of Jupiter and the Earth. Jupiter and the Earth, at its closest approach, approach is about 3.8 AU. This, the final touches on this, if you haven't already started to see what's going on, will be in the details of part four. But here we're dealing with Juno. We're dealing with four months ago, and Juno is the satellite that we've sent up to study not only Saturn and its moons, but what is a very key part of the end of this which is a moon of Titan and Saturn. But Jupiter is known as Nibiru in the ancient text. I showed you that before. But guys, pay attention to this, what they're talking about with Jupiter. It says, um, one of the brightest objects in the night sky, Jupiter has enthralled humans since ancient times. Today, scientists believe that learning more about the planet may be the key to discovering our solar system's origins and formations. They theorize and they know that Jupiter didn't always rest where it is now, but that it moved throughout the solar system in its youth, disrupting the formation of Mars, influencing the formation and location of the asteroid belt, and more. Just like I've been telling you. Notice the date, August 5th, 2016. Juno came through there getting these pictures on July 4th. There's in the uh, next part of this series, we got recorded uh, the Juno satellite as it hit the front bow shot. But guys, the whole thing about this is the magneto sphere of the Earth, the magneto sphere of Jupiter. And did you know that Ganymede, the largest planet, is the only moon? Supposed moon in the solar system that has its own magnetic field. And it's larger than Venus. Think about that. That magnetic field can be disrupted. Ganymede could crash into the magnetosphere, just like, excuse me, into the asteroid belt, just like it possibly has done before. What would it take? A magnetopause reversal? In the next part of this, guys, I'm going to show you two magnetopause reversals that affected the entire inner solar system and you've seen them on my channel and i'm going to tie that in to how ganymede could be released as well as some of the other planets excuse me moons because four of the galilean moons are planetoid objects that are very large guys why are they spending billions watching this you just said you saw where nasa said that they think Jupiter has done this before, disrupted the inner solar system, just like the ancients said that uh, Nibiru did. And you've seen where you can trace it back through the Phoenician languages, through the Sumerians, that they call Jupiter Nibiru. Guys, it's so huge. 130 of our planets could fit into it. And this is just an animation of its moon, Ganymede, that's larger than Venus. This is what they were picking up as far as its magnetopause and the auroras around it. Look at that. It has a magneto field and it has auroras and so does Jupiter. These are massive. That tells you they have magnetic fields. Just a reminder that you've seen this in part two, that the Sumerians had called Jupiter Nibiru. And also Mula Baba. You can pause this. Bright sun like star. Nibiru simply means fairy, fair man, or ford. Micah's Nibiru is the toll one has to pay for crossing the river. And is another title for Jupiter as it changes position and crosses the sky. Guys, study the orbit of Jupiter. 
it can appear to go backwards. That's because it has an 11.8 year orbit every uh, around the sun for every year that we do. The earth goes around once a year, it goes around 11.8 years. It appears to go backwards at one point. It has a lot to do with that crossing. But guys, in the next video, I will have the time to show you how a magnetic reversal, which has happened twice in the last four years, and if it happens as we have a closer approach to Jupiter, then that would be all it would take. But the date would be hard or impossible to set because there's too many factors. But it goes back to the Bible scripture that we talked about in Job. Said, And he was telling Job, you don't know the uh, hell that I have uh, in, in my storehouses for that great day of the Lord, the great day of battle. And we won't know that date because it could happen at any time. It entered the solar system before it could throw out one of those large uh, planetoid moons into the millions of asteroids that are in the asteroid belt that at one time was a planet that they call Tiamat that we see the remains of it and the moon could possibly was captured in our, the orbit of our planet because of that chaos guys you're Okay, we're going to get into some prophetic things coming from the watchman right now, people. So, um, let me go ahead and do that right now. Okay? Yeah, okay, watchman. Welcome to the God's Hiller 7 End Time Prophecy Channel. Um, I'm Sister Barbara, and I'm here with the prophecy that I received first thing this morning. Um, join me in the King James Version Bible. I'm sorry. King James Version Bible. <clears throat> Excuse me. I'm going to be in the book of Genesis. Um, Genesis chapter, let's see, 41 uh, verse, let's start at mm, 29. Now this is um, a dream being interpreted. Behold, there come seven years of plenty, great plenty throughout all the land of Egypt, and there shall arise after them seven years of famine, and all the plenty shall be forgotten in the land of Egypt, and the famine will consume the land, and the plenty shall not be known in the land by reason of that famine following, for it shall be very grievous. Okay, is that as far as I'm going? Yes. Okay, let's skip down to 36. And that food shall be for store to the land against the seven years of famine, which shall be in the land of Egypt, and the land perish not through the famine. Okay, that's all I'm doing. Okay, now I have another one, almost the same thing as this one. Um, I don't know how long ago it was from, though. Now I got this first thing this morning. Of course, I don't have the date in front of me. Um, July, uh, let's see, 26th, uh, 2021. Now, I kept on hearing this over and over, so you know it's important. Pray without ceasing, as this is the appointed time, and you have been given ample time to prepare for the coming famine and plagues. see the horror of starvation that has never been seen before. Now is the time for praying and fasting. Do not be slack. Treachery will abound. Your enemies will be those in your own house, brother against brother, mother against daughter. Do not slumber. Pray for discerning. Pray you will see the truth in all things. Pray the evil ones are revealed to you by the Holy Spirit. The fervent prayers of a righteous man availeth much. Choose your friends and associates carefully. 
The enemy is cunning. Pray you are worthy to escape the coming wrath and persecution. Pray for wisdom, knowledge, and understanding. Pray without ceasing. Pray for your nation and for the unrepentant. Pray the hand of the destroyer passes over your house. Repent now while time remains. I am always with you. Even in the darkest hours, there will be light. Whoa. Now let's just do a quick review here. All I kept hearing was, don't stop praying. I heard that for almost two days straight. How many times does he say pray in here? Pray without ceasing. Now it's the time for praying and fasting. Pray you will see, see the truth in all things. Pray the evil ones are revealed. This is over and over. I heard this over and over. Pray you are worthy to escape. Pray for wisdom and knowledge. Pray for your nation. So the bottom line is pray. Don't stop praying. He's listening and he's answering prayers. You need to do this. Now I have several out there, several prophecy messages about um, coming famine and pestilence all over uh, the earth coming. Uh, you've been warned, he said, just like Joseph, he warns everyone in advance of what's coming. He's warning you, did you prepare? Do you have extra supplies on hand? You see what he did with Joseph. You saw how that worked out. He made provision. Now, sometimes I get things under the um, comments and the um, prophecy messages. You know, I don't have extra funds and so on to do this. He will make a provision if that's you. Don't be in despair. He always takes care of his own, just like he did there. You saw what he did. If you're not familiar with that story, please read that whole chapter there to find out what's going on here, if you don't understand. Now, in my last message, um, I said to the effect that it sounded like um, the Passover about uh, the story uh, passing over and putting the blood around your doorposts and so on. Now, this one, he says straight up in here, what does he say? He's saying to pray about it. Pray the hand of the destroyer passes over your house. So here we go it again. I'm always with you. I think Brother Dan has this in one. I'm always with you. Even in the darkest hours, there will be light. So we know he's going to be with us no matter what happens. And like I said, if you're not able to do that, he will make a provision for you. He will send you someone. He will send something your way to and open a door. So don't sit there cried, crying and afraid. He will take care of you. He says it. He does it. I'm telling those people that are able to, you may be the one helping out the person that can't do it to prepare. Stock up, have supplies on hand. Now, I was on there, again, I, every time I go to order stuff, I'm not getting it. It's all, all out of stock. Now, somebody sent me something, and I think it was a, a picture or I saw it on Facebook of, of Costco, that's not around here, um, that all the shelves were empty and bare. It's coming. Have a plan. You may be the person helping the other person that's unfortunate and doesn't have money to um, uh, get supplies. You may be that person. You may be the helper. He's warning us over and over. He's talking about repentance. Pray for everything. I kept hearing pray, pray, pray. And I'm seeing it myself. Don't be discouraged. Now, normally when I do prayer requests, I have like a hundred of them or more. Hundreds. Hundreds of prayer requests. Now, I've noticed them dwindling down. This is telling me you're being depressed and you're getting um, uh, uh, frustrated and what's the other word I was thinking of? Frustrated and um, depressed. You're not doing what you need to do. Prayer. Prayer is the answer. Keep your faith. He's not going to leave you just stranded. He won't do that. That's not how he operates. And I know he's answering prayers because I always get my prayers answered. You have to put your trust in him. You need a personal relationship with Jesus Christ. All right, I'm going on already. I just want to say to repent and be baptized in the name of Jesus. You will receive the gift of the Holy Spirit. You can read about that in Book of Acts, Acts 2.38. I know that the enemy is working, but we're one step of the devil. So <clears throat> I believe that, brothers and sisters, there's going to come a time very very in the very 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 near future where some of us are going to go into shock mode and shock waves because we're going to do believe that before 
I believe that some of us, brothers and sisters, will be thrown into jail. I do believe that some of us will be thrown into jail. Um, because you've got to understand that we are heading towards a full blowing new world. And in Satan's kingdom, you know, <clears throat> the devil don't let no one to rebel against his wicked ways, especially when you're rebelling to support or you're rebelling to stand with Christ. Hallelujah. So when that happens, you know, he uses every wicked means and way to quiet you down. So I do believe that some of us will be thrown into jail pretty soon. Now, in this vision that I had, brothers and sisters, I, I was at home and I heard a knock on the door. And when I opened the door, brothers and sisters, I saw a man in a white coat. And he had a briefcase in his hand, he had glasses on and all of that, looked very studious, okay? And when I looked behind him, up and down the streets, brother, the street, brothers and sisters, I saw police and soldiers. But these police and soldiers, I didn't feel them in my spirit. They were wicked. That's all I'm going to put it in the vision. That's how they came across. Because uh, in my spirit, in the vision, I wasn't receive, receiving them. And the, the, the guy that was in the white coat, he, he was softly spoken. All right. He wasn't harsh or robust. Or, no, it was very softly, very intelligent, very softly spoken. And when I opened, like I said, I opened the door and he was there. And he said to me, is this Karen Giddin? He called my full name. And I said, yes. I said, I said, yes, that's me. And he said to me, I was sent here by the government. Just like that. Yeah. <laughs> that's what he said to me, brothers and sisters. And when he said that to me, brothers and sisters... Yes, I felt overwhelmed. I felt overwhelmed because I was thinking, ooh, I must be on the radar for these wicked people, you know? Um, and he said to me, I don't, I, I, from what I can remember from the vision, I don't think I invited him in. I don't think I invited this guy in. Like I said, oh, you're from the government. Oh, come on in. No, I don't think I invited him, invited him, invited him in but whilst i was there standing talking to this guy all of a sudden i found myself in my front room with the guy that part of saying oh coming in because i don't think i would ever do that i don't even like people coming to my house doing census brothers and sisters when i knock on the door oh, i'm here for the 2021 census how many people live here and where are you i don't like doing those stuff so I, I put them off until when they eventually write to me and said, if you don't do your censors, we're going to find you money. And then I'll, you know, I'll quickly do it or whatever. Because it's only a censor. All right. And um, so I don't think in the vision I would have invited him, invited him in. But for some reason, he was in my front room and I was sitting in front of him. This guy in the white coat. And when I looked behind him through the window, the police and the soldiers were still patrolling the street up and down. And it wasn't him alone in white coat. There were other people when I looked. Through. I didn't see them at first. But when he sat in my front room and I looked through the window, I could see other people in white coats, brothers and sisters. They were in white coats. Um knocking on people's door but my front room didn't look the same it looked a little bit different you know because in natural in real life when you look in my, when you if you're in my front room um and you look through the window you only can see fields where the what do you call it where you can see the sheep and the whatever it's not houses but this time this front room look, looked a little bit different i could see houses in front of me so maybe the lord just bought it up in the realm of the spirit so i could see what was going on but there were other men in white coats 
all the people in white coats up and down, you know, knocking on people's door with the police and soldier patrolling. But anyway, his brothers and sisters. So this guy, when he sat down, as I said, was softly spoken. And he said, I've been sent here by the government. I said, why? Of course, I ask him why. Because then you're going to know, want to know. I said to him, why, what's happening? Why, why did the government send you here? And brothers and sisters, remember I totally had a suitcase or a, you know, what looks like a suit, uh, not, suit not suitcase, I'm sorry, brief. Sorry, I do apologize. A briefcase in his hand. And he opened up the briefcase, brothers and sisters. Oh my God. What I saw in it, I was just taken back, literally taken back. Now, as I was looking at the stuff in his briefcase, my spirit then went to a different place. But this time, I was underneath what appears to be a tunnel or a cave. A tunnel or a cave. And there were different, different rooms, dark rooms, brothers and sisters, horrible, horrible rooms. Dark rooms underneath these caves, tunnel cave type of place. And they had prison bars on them. There were so many people in them, brothers and sisters. And every single body, every single one that was in these prison underneath the cave was there for the same reason, including me. I, I found myself in the cave. I, I literally found myself in the cave with other people who were talking. And they said, oh yeah, that guy in the white coat came and visit. Not the same person, but there's different, because I said there's different people in white coats, right? And um, the, we all had the same story. We all had the same story. And we stood on the ground and so we said, no, you know, this is it. You will have to watch the free speech channel for full information on this video. Sorry. I will link it. Okay. I will link it in the uh, description box so that you can watch it. I was thinking of doing it. Should I do it on the backup channel? Mm, I don't know. Okay. Check me free speech and my backup channel. That's all I'm going to say. That's all I'm going to say. Check my free speech and my backup channel. Okay. Um, I will link the full, the full vision there. But brothers and sisters, so like I said, when I was in this prison place with all these people, all of us was there for the same reason. Every single one of us for the same exact reason. And then my spirit went back and it was in front of the guy with the white coat. And he began to speak to me and tell me the re the reasons why he was there. It was reason why, the reason why I was at my house. Yes, the government sent him, but there was a purpose that the government sent him for. Some of us will be thrown into prison. Hundred percent, we will. I'm telling you, brother, it is coming. The new world has to take place. It's time, brothers and sisters. This is no more kitty catting around. We have to be done with that now, brothers and sisters. We're heading into a new world religion. That thing is next as well. I am telling you. But they're getting their stuff in order. They're getting their stuff in order. Order, brothers and sisters, it is coming, and you have to be prepared. Well, close the hat. You have to be prepared. I want you to watch either my free speech or my backup channel. Any one of them, just go to the description box, you'll find the full video of what I'm saying. The full video, you must watch a full video, you must watch it. Because I know some of you are watching this now. You're thinking, oh, what was she, you know, she says white coat. Who's in white coat? She said he pulled out a, a briefcase. What's in the brief? You need to watch the video. 
because on here I have to use wisdom I have to use wisdom all right so please watch the full video either on my free speech or my backup channel all right we'll leave it link so be bold be strong listen to this riddle changes in time changes in seasons here in the fall the seasons end i change the times to my father's command that henceforth there be no reason for delay no longer here are the words of knowledge that accompany that trouble this winter reconcile your matters for these reasons forbearance ended justice prevails underneath heaven on all who dwell another riddle Today, yesterday, tomorrow, from thence I speak judgments. My house is corrupt, unclean, and not just. I sweep, I clean, I purge it now. I remove these three. The faces on the wall, the merchandise on the table, the money box under the altar. The Lord says a different category of servants who shall speak truth not for gain, notoriety, or recognition. My glory they point to my Father, for He shares it not. Test the waters. Listen to these words of knowledge. No throne, no exalting. Sit on the floor and lament, O nation and people. And now a final riddle. Justice and mercy have I extended, Mincing and jingles have I seen. Pride and arrogance like him was seen. Now I turn from thee to purge away what my father sees. Stiff neck and rebellion. I close with these words of wisdom. I urge every believer to repentance. There's no need to carry a burden that's too heavy to bear. The Lord says, take my yoke upon you and learn from me, for I am meek and lowly in heart, and ye shall find rest for your souls. Listen. Okay, people, I think that's all I have for the, from the watchman today, but I tell you, important messengers, everybody's pretty much on the same page. Prepare, pray. And repent prepare pray and repent that's how, that's what that's you know how I feel about it too I mean, you got to trust in the father no matter what happened so so many things are going on the the planets are getting ready uh, nature is getting ready you know earthquakes mega quakes I, I think I have some pictures here that I'm gonna get into uh, you know we got the earth on fire It's fires all over the place all over California uh, all up north, it's just fires. We have to keep praying for fires in Colorado. Uh, it's just a dry time, a dry time over in Arizona. Just got fires, fires. Okay, uh, all this bad lightning, thunderstorms that we've been having uh, all week. Last week, the day is about the only time I think we're not in the forecast today. I don't think so. But all these things knock down our tower. Uh, uh, and so we had all kind of things going on in other people areas, hailstorms in a lot of people areas. Uh, we got fireballs going on all over. I think um, Lewis talking about a fireball. I can't remember exactly where it was at now uh, in California or some other parts of the world. But we have fireballs going on, all kind of disasters happening. So um, I really like this statement here, though, uh, getting into the political agenda. I like this statement coming from our, our, our President Ronald Reagan uh, years ago. And I don't know if I can, I'm going to have to clip it on so I can see it. So, and let me pull over here a little bit. Oh, hold on. Uh, yeah, okay. And he's, you know, because you know, we're having all these massive guns and shootings every day. Fly-by shootings and this, you know, all over, just sp scattered all over the place. You know, gun shootings every day i don't know if you've been keeping up with it. every time i look on my cell phone it's a shooting here a 12 year old just got shot yesterday uh passed by uh and we just got uh, so much of these shootings going on small shootings large shootings don't matter uh you know it's just going on everywhere and so uh reagan had said this statement 
You won't get gun control by disarming low-abiding citizens. There's only one way to get real gun control. Disarm the thugs and the criminals. Lock them up, and if you don't actually throw away the key, at least lose it for a long time. It's a nasty truth, but those who seek to inflict harm are not phased by gun controllers. I happen to know this from personal experience. But you know, yeah, they, they, they want to get rid of the guns, but the guns ain't the problem, really, when you think about it. But I'm going to go ahead and go on over here. Uh, uh, it's these criminals we're dealing with all over in Chicago, shootings, shootings, shootings every day, shootings, shootings. So uh, before I get into the Bible, I want to come here and talk about this real quickly. This is a... Uh, coming from uh, my friend there, uh, Randall J. Brewer. Uh, he has a, a book out, uh, and I think I'll hear, I'm going to read a little bit about it here. And I want to share it with you guys, okay? I have to go all the way out. Okay, I'm sorry, I got to go all the way out. So it says here, um, he wrote me, uh, Dear friends, oh, go here. Okay, hold on a minute, hold on a second. I get this always wrong here. Dear friends, uh, the Bible teaches us that the church has been given exceedingly great and precious promises and has become partakers of God's divine nature. Like God, the church is called to perfection and glory, to possess all things that pertain to life and godliness. 2 Peter 1.3 says everything we could ever need for life and godliness has already been desp deposited in us by his divine power for all this was lavished upon us through the rich experience of knowing him who has called us by name and invited us to come to him through a glorious manifestation of his goodness for sure the church of jesus christ is a group of special glorious people they've been purchased by god through the blood of jesus yeshua hamashiach said uh, they are forgiven and accepted in the beloved and they have been elevated above all the angels. They are sealed with the Holy Spirit, protected by divine love, sustained by divine providence, providence, and in, energized by supernatural power. Because you are Christian, you are part of God's eternal plan and purpose. You have potential that is unlimited and will be fulfilled through eternity. Take comfort knowing you are loved by Yah, loved by God, and dwelt by God, and empowered by God. Your inner man has been strengthened with might by the Holy Spirit. The Spirit is there, and the power is there indeed. God has turned you from a nobody unto a somebody. You really are that special. Absolutely. We are his property, man. I was reading that the other some weeks ago, how he was really illustrating to me. We belong to him. We are his property. So we should be following him, right, Randall? We should be following him because we are that special. Included with this email is a book I wrote titled From a Nobody to a Somebody. It is short, simple, and sweet. If you enjoy reading it as much as I have enjoyed reading it, then you'll be extremely blessed. Be sure to share it with others so that they'll also know how special they are. God bless. So he sent that to me. So I think you guys should go and look at his book on that. Okay. So I want to share it with you guys. I will put it in the description box, the link if I can. From a nobody to a somebody. Okay. And I'm not going to go over it. I'm going to leave it for you to read. But he had lots of uh, the contents. Is let the weak say I am strong. The oppression, the call, the sign, the pass. Okay. And so he said, let the weak say I'm strong. I love Randall's writings. Uh, he have a lot of material at Barnes & Noble and Amazon. So if you want to go there and look for him, Randall J. Brewer, and you will find his material there as well. But this is one you can get free of charge here, an e-book. So I will put it in the description box. And I'm going to go on over here to the Bible right now, people. I'm going to go ahead to the Bible right now. Because it's just so many things going on. So let me go to the Bible. And then I get back to Maranatha here. Close out with Maranatha. I'm already here at uh, 54 minutes. So let me go ahead and do that right now. Uh, yeah, the Bible, the Bible, the Bible. So uh, I, I thought this was interesting to come and share this again today. I might have shared it on my channel once before, a long time ago. I don't remember. But um, Azaz Last Years. Asa's last years. 
um, you know, uh, I showed you guys many times on my channel about the uh, this here text here. Coming from Job 13.4. But you are forgers of lies. You are all physicians of no value. So this is another physician story coming from Asa. Okay. So let's go ahead and read it. Father, let your Holy Spirit cover me as I read your word to the people. Thank you for your Holy Spirit. Thank you for your love. Your, your wonderful, wonderful wisdom in your written word. Uh, from other stories back in the days of old. Uh, nothing new under the sun. So we just thank you for all these wonderful, wonderful uh, stories uh, to encourage us, to in, in lift, uplift us, and to help us to build our trust in you, Father. So we thank you for it. We ask these blessings in the name. We ask for your Holy Spirit to touch the people hearts in my name, Yeshua HaMashiach. So Asa's last years, and I'm reading from the Amplified Version, Amplified Version. In the 36th year of Asa's reign, Basha, 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 king of Israel, came up against Judah and fortified Ramoth in order to prevent anyone from going out or coming in. Okay, to coming in to meet with Asa, the king of Judah. They protected these kings, you know. Everybody just can't walk in, you know what I mean. So anyway, so then Asa brought out silver and gold from the treasuries of the house of the Lord and from the king's house and sent them to be Ben Haz Ben Hazdad. I'm not saying that probably right, but Ben Hazdad, king of Aram of Syria, who lived in Damascus, saying, Let there be a treaty between you and me, as there was between my father and your father. Look, I'm sending you gold, silver and gold. Go break your treaty with Basha, king of Israel, so that he will withdraw from me. Okay. I tell you, they're always making deals. Always making deals, you know. Always trying to compromise. <laughs> get you to do something. But Ben Hadad listened to the king's Asa and sent the commanders of his armies against the cities of Israel. And they attacked and conquered Ijon and Dan and abel Mam and all the storage cities of Naphtali. Naphtali. When Basha, uh, Basha heard about it, he ceased fortifying Ramah and stopped his work. Then King Asa brought all Judah and they carried away the stones of Ramah and it timbled with which Basha has been building, and with them he fortified Geba and Mishpar. Boy, these names or something. All that time, Hanaza the seer came to Asa, king of Judah, and I can open my screen. I'm sorry, people. I forgot to open myself up again. I'm so sorry. Okay. So he carried away the stones of Ramah and his timber, with which Basha had been building, and with them he's fortified Geba and Mishpah. At that time, Hanani the seer came to Asa, king of Judah, and said to him, Because you relied on the king of Aram from Syria and did not rely on the Lord your God, the army of the king of Arab from Syria has escaped out of your hand. Okay, you see what happened? When we don't rely on the Lord, things happen, things change, things can disconnect. When we don't connect with him, we can disconnect from the, our blessings. Our, everything can happen, you know. Were not the Ethiopians and Limbia, Lumbim, Lumbim, a huge army with a great number of chariots and horsemen? Yet because you relied on the Lord, he placed them in your hand. See, he replaced them in his hand because he relied on the Lord. But this other guy had escaped out of his hand because he didn't rely on the Lord. Okay. For the eyes of the Lord move to and fro throughout the earth so that he may support those whose heart is completely his. You have acted foolishly in this. Therefore, from now on, you will have wars. Wars, he said. You will have wars because you have just acted foolishly, the Lord said to him. Then Asa was angry with the seer and put him in prison. Oh my goodness, look at that. Put him in prison. What did Carrie Geddon just say? Uh, she dreamed about. We, a lot of us going to be put in prison, put in jail, because we refuse to go along with the governments of the land, people. We refuse to go along with these people because Yeshua is our king. We don't want an earthly king. We want a heavenly king, okay? So I can relate. I can relate. I can relate. So they put him in prison. 
for he was enraged with him because of this. And at the same time, Asa oppressed some of the people. We're going to have the same thing coming. Oppression, oppression, distraction. It's going to be all kind of chaos going on because God's people will stand with God. They God our maker. We will stand with God our maker. We won't stand with the world. We won't follow the world. We won't follow these presidents and, and, and kings of the earth and all these Think for things going on around us right now as they put the hammer down on us. We're going to have to stand up to our father and re rely on him and trust in him, people. Now the acts of Esau from the first to the last are written in the book of the kings of Judah and Israel. Okay. In the 39th year of his reign, Esau developed. This is what happened. That's what God can, you know, Yeshua always trying to reach people. Get their, get their attention, man. Get, wake you up. And what do we do? We sleep in. We, 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 we ignore him. We reject him. We throw him away. Uh, we, just, we just walk away from truth. We don't want truth. We want darkness. We don't want light. We want darkness. So in the 39th year of his reign, Esau developed a disease in his feet. Okay. His disease was severe. Yet even in his illness, he did not seek the Lord. But relied what? Relied only on the physicians. I just showed you on the physicians. And I think that's what we're doing today. Relying on the physicians. On the physicians. Okay. And Yeshua then told us what it's about in Job. Okay. He told us what it's about. But we rely on them people. We go and take them. You know what? We do all these things we shouldn't be doing. We need to be trusted in him. I was reading today. Every morning I read about witchcraft. Witchcraft. Against witchcraft. Coming against witchcraft. And you know, and I just dawned on me. Witchcraft is sorcery. So you know, it's all coming in together. Witchcraft, sorcery, pharmacia, physicians. You know, all go together. And so we know we need to understand what the father is saying through his watchmen. Through his people. Through his seers of the day. Uh, through his prophets. His prophetess. Uh, we need to know how important it is to listen, people. Listen to his old prophets. Listen to his new prophets. Listen to all the things going on because it's true. It's right in our face right now. So it's saying here, so Aza slept with his fathers and death is so much death around us. They saying now on the news, a lot of people are dying from taking the you know what. Okay, over in India, dying from taking the you know what. A lot of people who are taking these things not curing them at all and that's what it's going to say here people okay not curing them at all <clears throat> so azar slept with his fathers in death dying in the 41st year of his reign okay i tell you they buried him in his own tomb which he had cut out for himself in the city of david and they laid him on a briar which they had filled with various kind of spices Blended by the perfumer's art, and they made a very great fire in his honor. Okay, <clears throat> so we're speaking of death here. I don't, I don't want to say much about it here now, but I will put it in my description box, a link uh, you can look at. If you don't have a burial plan, you should have a burial plan. You really should, because uh, you don't know what can happen at any moment. Like I just showed you down here. Okay, all these things going on down here, lightning storms. Uh, all kind of things happening, hailstorms, fireballs, missiles, bombs, earthquakes, megaquakes, asteroids. I always pray every night over uh, these things coming on the earth. Like we got nuclear attacks can happen. We have the hurricane in the sea again. We have uh, floods everywhere, 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 all over the world. Floods, okay. Uh, and we can have uh, chemtrails and. Uh, uh, dr uh, drones and satellites all tracking and going around. We don't know what can happen to us at any time, any moment. We have to just pray and watch, watch and pray, trust the Father and have wisdom, have wisdom, have wisdom, people. So pray and fasting is very important right now. Prayer is very important right now, people. So we need to be praying and fasting, watching and praying. And, uh, and I'm going to go ahead and go on over here to this other... Uh, Mar uh, over here to Maranatha and in this video. I tell you guys, it's so important. Please listen to this material here. Satan and the Threefold Union. Satan and the Threefold Union. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and play that, mute it out. <clears throat> okay. 
Oh, wait a minute. Hold on. July 2, Satan and the Threefold Union, and they worshiped the dragon which gave power unto the beast. Revelation 13, 4. He had two horns like a lamb, and he spake as a dragon. Though professing to be the followers of the Lamb of God, men become imbued with the spirit of the dragon. They profess to be meek and humble, but they speak and legislate with the spirit of Satan showing by their actions that they are the opposite of what they profess to be. This lamb-like power unites with the dragon in making war upon those who keep the commandments of God and have the testimony of Jesus Christ. And Satan unites with Protestants and Papists, acting in consort with them as the God of this world, dictating to men as if they were the subjects of his kingdom to be handled and governed and controlled as he pleases. If men will not agree to trample underfoot the commandments of God, the spirit of the dragon is revealed. They are imprisoned, brought before councils, and fined. He causeth all, both small and great, rich and poor, free and bond, to receive a mark in their right hand or in their foreheads. He had power to give life unto the image of the beast, that the image of the beast should both speak and cause that as many as would not worship the image of the beast should be killed. Thus Satan usurps the prerogatives of Jehovah. The man of sin sits in the seat of God, proclaiming himself to be God and acting above God. There is a marked contrast between those who bear the seal of God and those who worship the beast in his image. The Lord's faithful servants will receive the bitterest persecution from false teachers who will not hear the word of God and who prepare stumbling blocks to put in the way of those who would hear. But God's people are not to fear. Satan cannot go beyond his limit. The Lord will be the defense of his people. He regards the injury done to his servants for the truth's sake as done to himself. When the last decision has been made, when all have taken sides, either for Christ and the commandments or for the great apostate, God will arise in his power and the mouths of those who have blasphemed against him will be forever stopped. Every opposing power will receive its punishment. Hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. I can't wait. I can't wait. Let me get this off. I can't wait for that day when Yeshua get rid of the wicked. He say that the nations will be turned into God. The wicked will be turned into God. The wicked will be turned into hell. I get it right eventually. The wicked will be turned into hell and all the nations that forget God, okay? And so we need to know it's time to give our life to Messiah Yeshua. It's time to do it now. Today, people, as Randall said, he made us a, a nobody to a, a somebody. So we should be appreciating, appreciating our Father who made us all, all living creatures, all living creatures, people. So uh, I'm going to go ahead and end the video. Uh, let me go on here and uh, go over here and look at some pictures here. I was just reflecting back on the days when we went to see the homeless people. Actually, uh, some of these people are still around on here. About three of them are still around. Uh, the guy on the left, we see him all the time. And other people go in and out a lot. But we are very uh, thankful, thankful for all your help with the homeless over the years. Uh, this young lady got a job here, I think about the last year or so she got a job. I'm glad she got a job. I haven't seen her anymore since uh, she's probably been having a job, I think, at one of the local areas around. And this is some of the uh, homeless people from California area, in Redding, California, from Marlene, uh, that she sent to me the other day, and this one here. So we all work together to help the homeless in all these areas. So we really appreciate your help with the homeless, the widows, the orphans. I'm going to try to come back on my channel and do a mission report. A lot of missionaries is out this week. So we'll be coming back to show some of those on the next video, hopefully. All the pictures. I, it takes me time to put all that together. So uh, today I didn't have time to put them all together. So I will come back and do another mission report. But we know that we are in the end at the end, and I just love it so much that we are going 
home soon, getting out of this raggedy place, wretched place. So uh, let me go ahead and thank you guys officially here. And I just want you to know that prayers are going up every day for you guys as well. But we thank you for all your offerings to help the homeless, the orphans, the widows, and those in need of mission fields. May Yahuwah richly bless each and every one of you. Uh, new, our donation options here, Tiley app is one of them. Uh, you know, we are in the Tyler app on your mobile device. Uh, download and install the Tyler app from your app store today. Set up a free Tyler account on your phone. Search for Fill My Cup Ministries. Please add 4% to your Tyler app donation to help cover the bank processing fees. And we also have the Cash app here uh, that a lot of people are popular and use. Uh, we are now also on the Cash app on your mobile device. Our cash tag is dollar sign FMCMI. Please add 2%. 2.75% to your donation to help cover the bank processing fees. Uh, you guys familiar with the bump card? We have that on the bump card. Uh, you can also go there at https colon slash slash geniamarner.thebumpcard.me. You pause this video here and now scan the QR code with your mobile device to open your digital business card on your device. Okay, if you really want to look into having one of these for your own businesses or your own self, uh, you can also contact us in the description box or go to my uh, http slash colon colon geniamarner.thebumpcard.me and look at the material on there. it tell you all about the uh, pre-launch going on right now. They're going to end it on August 2nd. Uh, if you can pick out your package, what you would like to have for your business or yourself, uh, it's a very good uh, software program for businesses very effective uh so uh, that's gonna all i'm gonna say about that you can look in the description box but other donation options are the website fmcmi.org uh marna.camry at gmail.com at paypal and also you can mail in your donations at fill my cup ministries post office box 414 canyon city colorado 81215 ship and address fill my cup ministries 1501 main street number 414 canyon city colorado 81212 so uh, I'm going to go ahead and end the video, people. I really appreciate all your prayers. And, and like I said, all your prayers right now, uh, especially now uh, your prayers for all of us uh, in this nation, in this country, in the world. It's just so many things are happening every day, every hour. As the song says, I need you every hour. We do. We need the Father every hour. So, uh, Father, be with us as we know you are our one and only king we need. The only king we need, Father. Uh, only Savior we need. The only one can save us, Father. We know Hinduism, Buddhism, Catholicism, the atheism, mysticism, uh, witchcraft, and uh, 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 Judaism, all these different isms out there can't save us. We need to be saved by the blood of Yeshua HaMashiach, your Holy Spirit covering us with the blood and being born again, born again, hallelujah. So we ask that you hold on to us, Father, because we know sometimes we don't even know what we're doing ourselves. We're so dumb. We're so ignorant. We don't know what we're doing ourselves. You're the only one can give us true wisdom, Father. Oh, Father, help us to be uh, uh, born again of your spirit. As it says in John 3, 16, for God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son, that whosoever believeth in him should not perish, but have everlasting life. Anybody want to be prayed over and prayed with can always call us or email us and monitor i need prayer uh we believe in prayer on this channel a lot of prayers been going out a lot of prayers been being answered answered okay so we just thank you so much for all your uh prayers all your uh your time you take out to watch videos to see what's going on around every day and we just thank you so much for all you do for us for people and so we just ask the father to come be with us right now father we just bind satan and all his evil angels below beyond beneath mentioned and unmentioned known and unknown we bind all evil spirits on assignment against us in every way we ask for your holy holy spirit to always be with us let your blood cover the people and we just thank you so much father for being god all by yourself supply all the people needs according to your riches and glory whether it's physical mentally spiritually and we just thank you so much father and we're going to say shalom shalom and we love you so much people for watching today uh, we ask these blessings in the Father's name only, Yeshua HaMashiach. So we just kind of come back and do another video uh, at another time. But we thank you for watching again. And I'm going to go now. And I'm going to just say shalom, shalom. I love you guys so much. 
I really appreciate each and every one of you guys. Please, please get ready. Stay ready. Be prepared. Stay prepared. Because the Father is soon coming. No man know the day or the hour. But the seasons are really perking up. Uh, so please uh, stay in the word. Stay in the word. I feel his presence so strong right now. Oh, stay in the word. Stay in the word, people. Every day, every night. Read your Bibles. Read your Bibles. Okay. Read your Bibles. Uh, and don't let nobody take the Bible away from you because soon they might be taking them away. So read it. Know it. Have it in your brain. Have it in your mind. Have it in your heart. Okay. So uh, I'll see you again on another video. I love you guys so much. Uh, have a good day. Uh, have a wonderful Tuesday evening. Shalom, shalom. Love.